Hi, welcome to my practical guide how to connect an Xbox racing wheel to a PC. Um, this is mine, a standard Xbox 360 steering wheel and what you're going to need is a PC wireless gaming receiver and that will receive not only a normal Xbox uh, controller but the wheel as well though the Xbox 360 controller because it is USB it will connect straight into the back of a PC no problem at all. Now there are a couple of problems with this wireless adapter. First of all it requires a powered USB unit so unless it's a powered hub there will be a problem and second of all this unit uh, has limited surge protection so it has been known to fail from time to time so that's definitely one of the warnings. Uh, it comes with a, a driver disc as you can see so the first thing to do is stick the driver disc in the machine and let that read the software and while that's reading we'll just reach around and connect the USB to the back of the machine you can see there I have a USB hub but that isn't powered unfortunately so plugging it into the rear of the machine guarantees full power so that's what it looks like pretty small and uh, you can place that within 40 feet of your game controller or racing wheel receiver and that will pick up no problem. So the first thing to do is to install the software and I'm going to show you a split screen there to show you what to do. And you go up to my computer first of all and select the CD drive and uh, in this case I'm using Windows 7. So if you're using XP you can use the top one the top setup there and if you're using seven it's the bottom one and that should install no problem that's why i like to use the file manager to launch the applications and then you can see the exes in that folder and this installation might check the internet for updates in this case i'll decline the offer and then leave that thing to install and just speed that up there you go installation complete so the next step after the software has been installed is to install the uh, device driver and for this we're going to need to uh, be a little technical if we go into the control panel and find the uh, system option there that will bring up the uh, option to select the advanced system settings and in here under the hardware tab we'll find the device manager and if you click on that you'll find um, the device in this case is an unknown device so you click on update driver browse my computer and for this we will need to select the cd which we've just installed into the drive and uh, looking at the cd here uh, there is a pc driver directory i'll just click on that and click on ok and click on next and that will load the driver from the disk if it comes up with any security check errors, that's just Windows 7. Um, so no way to get around that, you're going to have to install the thing. So there you go. Wireless receiver is now installed. The device driver is on there. And that's what it looks like. Xbox 360 wireless receiver. So now we've successfully installed the software. Let's take a look at the hardware. This is my racing wheel. The... Um, Mark 1 Xbox 360 racing wheel there and I've customized it with a, um, a LAN cable there um, which uh, I've connected to the foot pedals for a better connectivity that's just a normal Cat5 LAN cable uh, I picked up on the internet produced by Belkin and they're pretty cheap as replacement cables so it's time to press the button on the receiver and then press the button on the wheel and then when the receiver stops flashing and the wheel connects there it goes it starts spinning round and then it connects and that stop flashing that means it's connected to your pc if you experience any problems you'll also find a handy pdf on the disc which explains how to connect your hardware to the pc and as I've just shown you, it isn't too difficult at all. So now that that's linked up, it's time to test that that's actually done so. We can go into our devices and printers option there through the control panel. And we can 
click on that device and check it out. But if we should click on the picture there in the bottom corner and click on game controller settings, and you can see my zip stick is plugged into the Amiga 4 port adapter underneath. But by clicking on the Xbox 360, click on properties, that should enable you to test the fact that all the buttons are working and it will need calibrating as well. That Z axis isn't ideal, so you click on settings and you calibrate all the settings on the steering wheel. Once that's been done to your heart's content, it's time to check out the wheel with a game. So for this experiment, I'm going to use the latest Win UAE uh, 2.41 and I'm going to load my standard setting and I'm also going to check that game controllers out there. It is in port 2. Um, we can test those functions through this latest version of Win UAE or we can remap those functions, which we are about to do. This is the calibration mode for a standard joystick and steering to the left will coordinate the x-axis press the foot pedal down will coordinate the Z and then you can press any of the buttons you like to specify the left and the right button uh, which can be uh, the shoulder buttons if you like as well but that specifies the standard joystick and that allows us to play normal joystick games so first of all let's check out Vroom and let's make sure the controller is set to joystick and um, be helpful if the gears were set to manual as well. Win UAE does actually allow you to map the uh, controller as a mouse, so you can remap the mouse options and use that if that's any easier. I'm just going to use the left right joystick. Perhaps remapping the options as a mouse may give you even more analog support, but with this mode, it's just a simple click to the left and click to the right, and once the wheel reaches that point, um, that trigger point, that will act as the left and the right on a normal analog joystick. There is a, a dead zone where when you turn the wheel it doesn't appear to do anything, but that can be altered in the calibration which we uh, skipped earlier on, the um, PC calibration. And so let's have another go at this vroom. I have to say setting up the controller this way to identify it as a joystick isn't ideal, particularly with the steering wheel, even with the calibrations, uh, because you have to move the steering wheel further than you would simply click a joystick or uh, move a mouse to accomplish the same task, i.e. driving around a corner. So fine tuning is definitely needed, although it does add, particularly on Vroom, it does add an extra element to the game and it can uh, very much feel like you are driving the game if you manage to configure the settings um, but I'm making a meal of this so let's skip on through uh, let's try out this uh, configuration on uh, Lotus Esprit Turbo Challenge and for this it's the standard Lotus game and it's the same calibration that I did through WinUAE standard joystick settings and I'm just going to choose uh, computerized gears there normal control i.e. forward to accelerate and remember we pressed the accelerator pedal as the forward so that will act as the forward on this game and away we go so again, players will have to tweak the dead zones on their analog device to be able to play this uh, more easily than I'm attempting to do at the moment. Without such things, it will require oversteer to get around the bends. But as you can see, the Xbox 360 works with the Lotus and adds yet another extra element to the game. Uh, it makes the game much more difficult, in fact, than playing with a digital device. Next I'm going to try F1 GP and for this I will use a special patched version which I patched using the F1 GP patch which allows two buttons in analog joystick mode. So having loaded that we go up to game controllers joystick settings and make sure the Xbox wheel is in port 2 and select analog joystick for this one. We'll uh,
skip the recalibration, but it's basically left and right for the analog. The Z is the foot pedal, and button one and two are the green and the red button on the wheel itself. And you can use the shoulder buttons as well if you'd like to reconfigure that. So having configured the hardware on the WinUAE side, it's time to configure the hardware on the software side. So it's time to load up F1 GP and in the game options you'll find configure analog joystick port one and this will allow you to configure the analog joystick roll left press the fire roll right press the fire button again center press the fire press the foot pedal and press the deceleration foot pedal there and that's all configured up so we can now practice in circuit and for this let's go over to brazil and we can use the crosshair or we can use the left and right analog to move that tire selection across and let's try the um, analog mode and it should be possible to have analog brakes and an analog accelerator as well although for me it isn't particularly easy let's try that again move the thing across and away we go so F1 GP is one of the few games on the Amiga which allows analog joysticks the rest tend to be flight simulators and for some reason when you are doing the calibration of the wheel on the F1 GP side it says insert your analog wheel into port 1 for some reason I couldn't get that to work um, it seems to work if you install the analog controller into port 2 and again you should be able to use the shoulder buttons to change gear up and down but I tried that and F1 GP didn't like it so I've gone back to using the buttons on the steering wheel itself to gear up and down which makes the whole job much more difficult to be honest um, I'm sure there is a way to patch those shoulder buttons in so they are gear up and gear down but um, allowing two buttons to do that on the wheel is at least a bonus and uh, it doesn't make driving this game any easier in fact yet again it makes it much more difficult and is really for the ace driver otherwise there's no point so that's how to connect an xbox racing wheel to a pc and to win UAE and to all these games so thanks for watching